Today we're talking about the whiskey itself. So I'm going to be pouring myself in the new thin glasses that will be coming with the bullet. We smell and sniff this beautiful thin glass. It has butterscotch, it has ripe fruit, like banana or something like that. The nose of it is absolutely delicious, you know, and I, I really can't say more. I think people have said enough about this. I think it's delicious. Wow, it's really kind of a banana comes straight at your nose as soon as you're lifting it up to your yeah. face. Diving into the taste, possibly some dark grapes and demerara sugar. Oh, it's lovely. That dark cherry right there, straight off the bat. Wow, a really full mouthfeel, mm. uh, a lot of Dark cherry. I think predominantly, yeah, dark cherry. Normally we look at dark fruits and whiskey, but I think the cherry is that, that sweetness that kind of lingers on the back of the tongue. Yeah, the progression of flavor is, is brilliant. Finish, fantastic, very long. Incredibly soft, but vibrant and intense and rich. The balance in this, this whiskey is you know, pretty much perfect, especially or even more so after the water goes in as well. The finish just goes on and on and on. I mean, it's still with me right now. Yeah. Kind of dark, cracked cacao. It's just, it's it's really, really nice. I think it's a, a very fine whiskey. It's, it's something really special. It is something very special. It's not something to be kind of guzzled away. It's something to be appreciated and taking your time with. This is one of the coolest whiskies I've had to try in 2021. Thank you very much, Craft Irish Whiskey and Jay Bradley for this chance to try such an amazing whiskey. It's monumental. Uh, we just got news last night that's been embargoed that the Brulloch has won Master in Single Malt. Yeah!